Greetings, Commanders. My name is Mauricio, the Arc Runner for Update 58, and I'll be guiding you through one of the main features arriving this month. Before we delve into what's new, let's take a step back to understand the context. Vice Admiral Buenamigo's dream of fully automated Texas-class starships defending the Federation quickly turned into a nightmare as the ship's artificial intelligence gained sentience and started attacking everything in their path. These rogue AIs can analyze your combat patterns and predict your next move, posing a severe threat not just to the Federation, but to the entire galaxy. All may seem lost, but what if there were a way to outwit them? Introducing the Monovine, a regal battleship built by the proud people of Hysperia. It flawlessly combines cutting-edge and vintage technology, offering increased damage to all Texas-class hostiles and automated shipyard solo armadas. Thanks to its passive ability, modernity is overrated. Powered by its Dragon Breath engines and armed with weapons of lightning and Dragon's Blood, the Monovine is the vessel you want to be on when facing a vicious Texas-class ship. The Monovine also features its own research tree, consisting of 17 new nodes unlocked by regal geodes that provide numerous advantages to the Monovine and the rest of your fleet. Isolytic Dragon Scales, for example, increases the base isolytic damage inflicted by your Monovine on Texas-class ships, while Tachyon Battle Surge augments the base isolytic damage dealt by all your ships when battling other players. Since this is your first rodeo with the Texas-class, let me give you some tips to get the most out of the Monovine. First, head towards the new systems near Federation space, which are patrolled by Texas-class ships. Once there, you can defeat different types of ships, such as sentries or supply ships, which will drop distinct rewards. Keep in mind, though, that attacking any Texas-class ship drops your peace shield. So be sure to keep an eye on your station, or avoid this problem by floating in space and letting the sentries come to you. After defeating enough hostiles and acquiring net chips, make your way to the Monovine's refinery to trade them in for Queen's Favors, Monovine ship parts, Regal Geodes, or the new Shipyard Solo Armada directives. Get enough of these and you'll be able to challenge automated Shipyard Solo Armadas, which are responsible for mass producing the Texas-class ships. Victory will earn you Shipyard Credits, which you can exchange for a bounty of materials, while Queen's Favors can be redeemed for a large amount of resources. That's it from me, Commanders. Be sure to check out our patch notes and Discord server if you have any questions related to Update 58. And as always, live long and prosper.